JD? Emily, I'm curious about something. Tell me. Are you really a professor? Well, JD, I teach at the University of Calgary in the Schulich School of Engineering. I've taught introductory programming, engineering communication for design, and also a course related to technology in society. Engineering. What is engineering? Engineering is the application of science, math, and technology for solving problems. Engineers are designers and innovators who use their knowledge to help people. Now there's lots of different types of engineers. I'm a computer engineer, and that means I've used hardware and software to solve problems related to acoustics, medicine, and all sorts of different areas. But actually my main research area is related to creativity and innovation techniques for electronics development. Throughout my master's and PhD research, I had the opportunity to work with a lot of students in both K-12 and post-secondary. And I would go into the classroom and see how they perceive engineering and how they learn topics related to engineering and technology. I really love being in the classroom and interacting with students. So that is how you got involved in the robot program. What do you like about your role in the robot program? You know, as Professor E, I get to share my love of technology and robotics with people all around the world. The robot program covers so many important topics, from learning to code, to advanced concepts like machine learning, the history of robotics, and even how to build your own awesome robot. As Professor E, I get to use my background in both engineering and education to show people how we can bring those fields together to create amazing robots to solve problems and how we can apply science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I see. Why is learning about technology important? Technology has helped to shape human history, and robots are going to be an important part of our future. The more we understand about creating, implementing, and using technology, the better prepared we'll be for that future. What do you do when you are not in the classroom researching or doing the robot program? Actually, I'm very involved in the fine arts. I'm a published writer, a jewelry artist, a dancer, and a musician. My main instrument is the oboe, and some of the most interesting engineering projects that I've worked on have combined both engineering and music. It's really exciting to see how you can use robotics and technology to solve problems in other disciplines. Whether you're an athlete or a painter, you can find a way to solve problems in those areas that uses robotics and technology. So for example, there are lots of robots now that will compose music, or they'll help create a new piece of artwork, or they can help you extend your physical limitations. So there's lots of different ways that we can use cross-disciplinary techniques to take robots into these other fields where we normally wouldn't associate them with technology. What's that, JD? Can you help me get down? I need to go and recharge. Of course. 